Hello everybody, we are going to be talking about Dylan Cousins and his new extension with the Buffalo Sabres. Now before we start, I wanted to say please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new to me or new to hockey, whatever the case may be. I'd love to have you here along the way. Now let's talk about Dylan Cousins and his new deal. Yes, I'm in my car, just got back from work. So, Cousins is a former 7th overall pick, 2019 draft, and he has just signed a very big deal. It is a seven-year, 49.1, 49.7, excuse me, million-dollar extension with the Sabres, 7.1 million AAV. And why is this a big deal? First, it's because he was set to be an RFA after this season. I don't exactly know what teams would have really pursued him as an RFA, uh, considering this is kind of the first breakout year for him. But he's young. He's viewed as a guy that has a lot of potential, so maybe some teams would have really snuffed around, but for Buffalo, probably didn't want to have to deal with anything. If they could get him extended, that would be great for them. He's also one of the two major extensions that have really gone on here in the past, I want to say, month. I cannot remember when Tage Thompson signed his extension with Buffalo, uh, but yeah, Tage Thompson, another guy that looks like he is probably Buffalo's best player for years to come if he's able to do what he's been doing, but for Cousins, he is a player that very well could be part of that future, and I think that's what Buffalo sees right now with guys like Thompson, uh, guys like Cousins, and they see these guys that are young, that are, you know, guys that maybe they didn't get uh, outright, whereas Cousins they did, but, you know, Thompson they got with the trade, but part of their long-term plan to really build around these young players and have them be the pillars of the franchise. I'm not going to say just yet that these are the Tays and the Kane or anything like that because of course their situations are totally different than those two but we are looking at these new signings especially with these two as part of this you know renaissance for Buffalo I guess if you want to call it but this does actually set Buffalo up really nicely down the future uh, in the middle you look at Thompson and Cousins two guys that play center or at least take a lot of face-offs and to be able to say that two top six forwards at the very least if i know the center position is changing a lot but two top six guys that are big parts of the team are part of your future this is great and this is going to be a very good thing if things click for buffalo at least for seven years i can't remember thompson's deal it might have been seven years as well but i think a good thing for dylan cousins while he isn't having as flashy of a year as thompson He's not having a year that you look at and say, well, this is unrepeatable. In fact, his individual expected goal total is 16, which actually is pretty good considering the fact that he has 17 goals on the year. So just one more goal than expected. 26 assists, 43 points, and 49 games played. Big news for him. Why? Just because last year he had 38 points and 79 games played. I really would like to go in a little bit more depth with Cousins, but I will say since I just got back from work and I'm in my car, of course, I don't have access to a lot of this stuff right now where I could put it together a video like that. But also, too, uh, there are some other aspects where maybe he is helping other teammates out. He plays a lot of time at 5 on 5 with John Jason Paterka. He is a former second overall pick, and he is having a bigger taste in the NHL this season. He has 19 points and only 48 games played. Again, I really would love to be able to go in and take a deeper dive and say, is Cousins a big part of that success with Paterka being able to have seven goals and 12 assists, um, you know, in the early part of his career? I think this is just his second season. I don't know. Now, there are varying degrees there defensively that group or those two together are not great, uh, but he also is playing other crucial minutes with guys like Rasmus Dahlin, Owen Power, Dahlin. Looking to be maybe not the favorite to win the Norris this year, but at least a candidate. And Owen Power, another guy, he had a very impressive stint last year. And then this year, while well, it hasn't been as flashy, things have clicked for him as of late a little bit more. I think he had three games in a row where he scored goals. And again, getting these young guys, getting these guys that... Uh, are either drafted by them or acquired by them, whatever the case may be, to play together, play minutes, and play winning hockey. That is the big thing. Buffalo, definitely not out of it right now for the playoff push. And if they can make the playoffs, maybe this is a taste of what's to come with guys like Thompson, Cousins, uh, Darlene, and Power, etc. They have some talent, and we know that. And a big part of you know, just keeping talent is extending them, but also maintaining excellence. And while Buffalo is not in that excellent category just yet, 
they continue to be this dangerous offensively in years to come and they have a goalie of the future and they are just all around a better improved team they're going to be dangerous and Buffalo might not win a cup as of right now I'm not saying that they are going to win a cup with this group just yet but if they continue to grow watch out for the Sabres in the coming years and watch out for Dylan Cousins who may be a guy that averages over a point per game in this time with this new deal but what do you think on this new deal Again, kind of his first breakout year, but doesn't seem to bother the Sabres to pay these guys early before maybe other teams would be able to go out there and give them big deals then. But we will see how that goes. Let me know your thoughts on the deal down below. Also, please make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Everybody stay safe. Have a great night. And you like Hugo Lavalky, all right. Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes. This is your captain signing off. Have a great night.